I'm back in Florida. We got here uh, late last night and I came into my studio and I'd been working on a few things uh, before I left and came back to them all dry. And I wanted to share a couple of my favorite things with you. First, let me show you this painting. I love it. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see. Let me stand up. You can see right over here, I did a stencil. And what I did was I just had a lettered stencil and uh, I mixed some uh, deco art, excuse me, some golden carbon black on a plate with some molding paste and um, put the stencil on it. And then with a palette knife, rubbed uh, the black acrylic uh, paint over it and lifted it up. And we have some nice French letters. Um, this is right here, molding paste put down. And then I uh, put some different colors of fluid paint on my finger and rubbed it into it to add some color. This is really cool. I don't know if you can see this area right down here. What that is, that is a uh, cardboard. Um, just a piece of cardboard that I um, just kind of piece together and what I do to it is I split it in half or peel the outer layer of the cardboard off to expose this area. And then what I do is I take my molding paste with a uh, paintbrush and I put some molding paste down on the canvas, tear this into different pieces push it down and then I apply more molding paste on top. So this is solid as a rock and then I paint it when it's done. Um, but my new favorite thing that I wanted to share with you is um, this PBO Pepio gilding wax. Can you see that okay guys? This stuff is heavenly, look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's a wonderful thing to add to your painting once it's dry. You can apply it. I love working with my fingers, but as you can see, I got a little manicure going on here from my wedding. But you just take a paintbrush, pick up a little bit of it. Let's add some right in through here and just kind of brush it across some of your texture and then you can rub it in with your finger this stuff is heavenly it adds depth it adds dimension look at that now another thing you can do that is the pbo gilding wax i got this i believe at jerry's artorama and it's easy cleanup, guys. Another thing you can do is use your straight fluid paint. I'm using transparent red oxide because it's not opaque. And then um, it allows the colors underneath to kind of come through without it, um, those under colors and shades to go away. I just put a little bit on a plate. I dip my finger in it and I rub it into my painting. See how I just changed that gilding wax a little bit? Guys, play with your paintings. Fiddle with them. I put them on the wall in front of me and I stare at them for days and days to try to figure out a way that I can improve them. So, gilding wax, can you see that? Isn't that pretty? Fluid paint rubbed into a finished painting. Texture, texture is everything, guys. Cardboard, molding paste, crackle paste. Um, generally, I will just put a bunch of colors down on my canvas, let it dry. Sometimes I swipe it, sometimes I brush it, let it dry, then I go in with either a crackle paste, a molding paste, and most of those are opaque, which means you will see them once they dry. Then you go in and you brush on, or you can use your fingers, you can use your paint brushes to just add a bunch of wonderful, wonderful texture to your painting.
sky Watching stars align Mesa making sweet honey Melissa lemon balm Nights as warm as your breath On my chest so calm
watching stars align They still making sweet honey Melissa Lemon Balm Nights as warm as your breath On my chest so calm 